Hello guys, me Carseth is aka Happy Car95 and I'm gonna show you the gifts I got from the NASCAR Hall of Fame. So as you've seen in my previous videos, I showed you guys my pit crew simulation thing along with the driver simulation also from Darlington Raceway. So I did a little bit of ice racing here and there but I'm going to show you a few gifts. This is my lanyard with a few items in here. Let's see here. This is the interactive piece that I need so I can touch touch screen in the near future. But I don't need it anymore. And then here's my Hall of Fame placard like my hard card right here don't really need that and then yeah I can't show you the code because it has some uh, private information so we're not gonna look at that right now so I'm still showing you gifts, but we're going to get there. My favorite part was my photo album. See? Right here. Let's open it. Let's see if I can open it. Uh, I have to cover this. So nobody like gets the code. These are my uh, nieces right here. Here's photos of me as in the Hall of Fame right here, and here's my nieces again, which is wonderful. So it was a good. Trip to the NASCAR Hall of Fame, to be honest with you. Well, sort of. Just because I wanted to be perfect in the pit crew simulation, which didn't go well, but I guess the pictures were okay, you know? Let me fix this. Okay. So we... okay. I got a booklet called uh, the NASCAR Hall of Fame Class of 2019 booklet. It has it says Forever Legends, and if I can remember the top five in my head, it'll be Davy Allison, Jeff Gordon, Alan Kowalki. Roger Penske and Jack Rouse all in this cover, front cover, you know. And if you were to read all of it, there's a lot of pages. I'd probably go f throughout the summer just trying to read everything in here, but don't have time this week because I have family over and. I don't want to record too much, so that's all I'm going to say. Ooh, here it is. Chase Elliott uh, autograph uh, thingy. You get these uh, paper like, uh, I don't know what they're called. Huh. This is what people pass when they, uh, especially Chase Haley's PR people, they sign these, uh, this paper right here, and it says, I'll read it to you about who Chase Elliott is. He was born in November 28, 1995, and he's from Dawsonville, Georgia. He's 5'11", which is surprising because he's a few feet taller than me. <laughs> oh, sorry, I can't talk today. And did you know his favorite activities outside of racing? 
snowboarding, wakeboarding, and riding dirt bikes. Is that something that Ryan Blaney would do? Along with Bubba Wallace. <laughs> That's interesting. And highlights. Most popular driver. He began getting that award from 2018 to 2020. Or if you want to call it present, he'll always get most popular driver whenever he's around. And then he's been a playoff contender ever since 2016. I have to say, he's a back-to-back Daytona 500 pole winner from 2016 to 2017. I don't know why I'm reading this, but I just have been memorizing them. And then he's a, you know, Rookie of the Year, beat Ryan Blaney for the 2016 class in Cup. And then he's a 2014 NASCAR Xfinity Series champion. So, if you want to count... Stay in touch with him. Here's his Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Unfortunately, I don't have a Twitter and a Instagram because I don't have the support of my cousins and relatives knowing that I do have an intense interest in NASCAR, which autistic people might have. And I've met a few here and there, but they keep they're going to keep it private. So, we're not going to look at these Napa promotional plaques, uh, these flap thingies. And then if I give Chase Elliott these flappers right here, he would sign the autograph called Chase Elliott number nine, baby. Who says I'm not done presenting all my toys and gifts. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for. With diecast or with diecast car that I want to get from the gear shop. It would, it's going to be a shocker because it's not any of my, uh, it's not a cup driver or an Xfinity. But you know the most popular. Here it is. Haley Dean. I only bought the one by a 64 inch, whatever it is, a holler, which is the NASCAR Arca Menard series. And if I were to open it right now, I would. But would you want me to open it? I'll give it a try. Okay. I gotta be careful so I get some anything. Ooh, wonderful. Ooh, I don't know where I'm gonna put this. I know it's for three-year-olds or toddler or elementary school age people, but oh, man. if I'm not careful with this, this is going to break in a year, I'm telling you. Here's Haley Deegan's face right here. That's photo shoot up there. Okay. I'm going to clean this up. And what else do I have to say? Well, everybody was friendly at the NASCAR Hall of Fame with a few skirmishes along the way. I mean, I wanted to do well in iRacing and the pick or simulating thing, but other than that, I really enjoyed looking at all the cars. And if you guys want to look at my uh, pictures and photos from few weeks ago I believe you can go to my YouTube playlist from for Happy Carlo 95 and it'll say NASCAR Hall of Fame or San Diego Road Trip 2021 since I actually went from the East Coast and the West Coast in five days and crossed 11 states or if you wanted to count minus one it'd be 10 states 
so there you have it so I know I don't make these long videos like around 10 to 15 minutes like everybody else, you NASCAR YouTuber would but subscribe for more content by clicking on that bell button give a thumbs up if you like the video so much share a comment right below the description and so you can share some positive feelings with everybody in the community and make them feel welcome. So, make a happy Colonel Life Hive. I hope you like all the gifts and toys that I showed and told you. Yeah. <laughs> I did a little bit of a show and tell. That's what I was going to say. I did a show and tell with the Haley Deegan toy and all my booklets I got. So, make a happy Colonel Life Hive. Happy summer to y'all and peace out.